Welcome to our YouTube channel. Before watching the videos, a humble reminder from us. First, hit like in each video, if you like the scenes shown in videos. It gives us feedback. Second, make sure to leave comments on each video if you liked it, by doing this it helps our video to stand out from the crowd. Lastly, hit the bell icon to get notified our latest updates and motivate us. Thank you. In this video we will cover a brief summary of the main features of our asset. The reason we made this video is because you might be very pressed with time management or busy. You might not have enough time to go through the detail comparison videos. So, to make your life a lot easier, we made this visual document. This video is divided into several sections. In each section, we will look into some footage with no dynamic events. We will compare them solo, first, being with the defaults which Unreal Engine offers, then with our asset. After doing so, we will do a split comparison to clearly demonstrate the difference. The first topic is, the sun. Despite having a very good feature which is named as Sky Atmosphere Actor which simulates the atmospheric scattering of real life, there is no good feature which can mimic the sun very realistically. Our asset development was started from this very basic need, as we wanted to make some very realistic production within the Unreal Engine and also we wanted to make some alien world footage with a giant blue giant star as the sun. To visualize how the sun looks in real life at different times, such as during the sunset, we can just type in Google by color of the sun during sunset and then go to the Google images. We will see it clearly that the sun color changes from yellow to orange then, finally, bright red. The red color of the sun just before sunset is like a pure ripened strawberry. We may even see gradients of all those three colors on the sun, depending on how much cloud or fog is present at the horizon. Now you might have seen some yellow beaming sun image on the internet during sunset or sunrise. This is due to the camera limitation which fails to capture the high intensity red or orange light coming from the sun, however, our human eye can see those exotic colors of the sun. You can just go near a monochromatic pure red LED light, and then take a picture of it with your phone camera, you might see how the image it has captured is different from what you see in real life. You will see that, in the captured image, the center of the red LED has turned into white. This happened as your camera has failed to capture the high intensity red light. Why does this happen? It's a subject of a different topic and you are free to search it on Google. Also, why the sun color changes during the sunrise or sunset, you can search them on Google too, as we won't be covering those topics in this short summary video. Now, we will begin with the scene where our sun, which is a directional light actor in Unreal Engine term, is at horizon, just before sunset. The current footage in the screen is what you get from the Unreal Engine as the default. The weather is clear, with little fog, at the bottom of the hills, and at the horizon, which is a perfect chance to show you that, how good our asset is. As you can see even though the sun is just before sunset, it is looking like a beaming torch. You can't really see or tell if it has a sun disk which you saw in our previous pictures of real life world. There is a lack of color because scene is very washed out. Also, we really can't see any red color or gradient on the sun even if we have faint fog at the horizon. Now we will drop our asset in our scene and it's a boom. This clip you see is what you get by enabling our asset successfully. The sun disk is clearly present. The fog color has also matched the condition as our asset also changes the fog based on sun and moon condition and sky atmosphere actor settings. On top of all these, finally, 
we can see the beautiful gradient of orange and red on the sun. It perfectly created the most realistic sun as we do see in our real life and those previously displayed images. We can even zoom more into our footage and understand that our asset has worked. As this part is over, let's move on to the dynamic event comparison. The video you see, just right now, was fully captured via sequencer of Unreal Engine. You can see the same washed out scene with no realism, both the scene and the sun and the sunset is looking very very dull. Now we just put our asset and it has changed the mood magically. On parenthesis, our asset is fully compatible with Sequencer. So, now we can see those exotic bright orange to bright red gradient on the sun. And this is what we see in real life. Moreover, our sun now has a clearly visible disk instead of beaming point of light. Hence, our asset just worked. In our asset, our sun not only followed the directional light, but also, it simulated the most realistic sunset or sunrise. It's fully compatible with the game mode and the sequencer mode, so, you don't need to bring tons of HDRs for your game or film production. Now, you might be thinking that, we are faking all these, just by changing the color of the directional light when it's at the horizon. But, we are not. You can clearly see that in this footage. We are not touching any color settings of the directional light at all. In fact, the yellow, orange, and red gradient you see in our sun because our asset derives the color of the sun on different condition based on what settings you are using in the sky atmosphere actor, so we don't need such cheap tricks. On other side, you simply cannot achieve this gradient just by changing the color of directional light. Hence, our asset saved hours of work by a few clicks and also provided you the freedom of an automatic realistic solution. There are more things our asset can do about the sun, such as a giant sun based on physics. Go check description below the video to fully see features. As we are done with the first main topic, let's go into the second one. The moon. By default, Unreal Engine don't have any feature to render the moon in your scene. You can, however, bring a HDR, but you won't able to make it cast shadow or control the size or control the distance of the moon. You won't even able to move the moon in the HDR because it's a baked image. We encourage you to go try by yourself and spend hundreds of hours just to trying to simulate dynamic moon with HDRs. On the other hand, we can bring another directional light actor in our scene, but it won't show you any moon at all. Once again, the color of the scene is washed out. It will only show you a point beam of light. Now you need to ask yourself that, are you happy? with these limitations? Are you happy to be spending hundreds of hours with HDRs to just produce simple moon for a scene for your film? Or you can just drop our asset in your scene and once again, it works like a charm. The scenery do not lack color anymore. There are stars blinking, which is present in the sky of our asset and also our full moon with clearly visible disk and spots on it now, when we compare it in a dynamic scenario such as moon going down at horizon, we can see that, just like our previous video clips on the topic of sun, there is gradient on the moon disk. So, just like the sun, our asset has successfully simulated the moon in dynamic case. Again, we are not creating this effect by changing the directional light color. We can even compare these with footages of real life. And then, we will find out that it exactly matches with how moon color changes as our atmosphere scatters it. So once again, our asset has nailed the problem and solved it with satisfactory results. 
There are more things our asset can do about the moon, such as dynamic physically accurate eclipse. Go check the description below the video to fully see features. Now, it's the time for the final topic, which is the night sky with stars and nebulas. Just like the moon, by default, when there is no directional light in your scene, Unreal Engine do not show any stars or nebulas. Because of this reason, your scene will look pitch black. So, you are supposed to do something to render space in your scene. We will first look into some reference images. We can search on internet and we can see these footages. So the night sky is not a pitch black thing. There are stars of different sizes, moreover density of stars increases where the nebula is brighter. On parenthesis, this incident happens because of the dark matter and the gravity. On the regions of the space where the nebulas are brighter are the regions where the nebulas have higher density. Those are the spots where gravity and dark matter are also higher and they pull galaxies and star towards them, causing high number of stars on those regions. We won't be covering the detailed explanation of those in our this video. Now, we will see how our scene can look with a space HDR. You can see result is very comical. The star field looking like some faded spots, everything is looking very blurry, So this is the result we get from a HDR. So, once again, are you happy with this funny and ugly results? Are you happy with no star blinking on the night sky? Are you satisfied just with a pitch black sky during night? What you will do for your realistic film or game? Or, once more, you can just drop our asset and it will be, once again, a miracle. Now, you can really see stars of different sizes, you can see them twinkling smoothly, on top of that, there are nebulas with high details. To note that, number of stars are less, where the voids of the nebula exists. What's more, you can change the every aspect of our space elements. You can change their contrast, or their emission, or their hue, and even, their color intensity. All these, are fully sequencer supported. Depending on, what settings you have selected on our asset, the sky will change, dramatically. In addition to this, do you want to know some good news? Our night falls automatically. As directional light actors go down, the mystical night sky falls itself. No need to spend hours to arrange it. No need to render tons of HDRs. Everything just happens. In our asset, even constellations forms automatically. All these are fully sequencer supported. On top of this, what's better? You can even simulate cosmic flow. Just one slider, and billions of years of space, will pass in few seconds. Thinking about FPS? It remains, at high. Even with all ray tracing features on. No worries!
Are you missing the exotic gradient of orange and red of the sun or the moon during sunset or moonrise in your film or game? Are you unable to change their sizes or distances? Or simply, you cannot see their discs? With our asset, each of those features are present and what's more, they are fully automatic. They follow formula of real-world physics. Moreover, as they are derived from the sky atmosphere actor of Unreal Engine, the color and gradient of the sun or the moon of our asset is fully automatic and are derived from the settings of the sky atmosphere actor. Hence, we save you days of creation of a blueprint spaghetti which will hardly match the realistic results. Our asset efficiently brings procedural generation with artistic control to your hands. It gives you the power of procedural process while you unleash your artistic sense to direct the sky. Imagine and bring any environment and it will provide you with triple A quality sky. As every element can be controlled and be changed in real time, various complex scenarios are made easy by our asset. With both game mode and sequencer mode support, it opens doors for the endless possibilities. You no longer need to render tons of HDRs or spend hundreds of hours just to make your next scene match the previous one. Does your next scene requiring the need for realistic eclipse? Or, you need really hyper-realistic space scene? That's a few clicks with our asset. You can even zoom on our sky and you will be surprised by the details. Just like in real world, as you zoom in, the number of the stars also increases. We are releasing you from tons of works so that you can focus more on your script and other aspects of your film or game and be successful. You can compare our asset hundreds of times. Again and again, you will see. It just works. We humbly give thanks to all those people who directly or indirectly helped us with our this video demo. Check their contact on the in screen or in the description below. Also, click on the videos on the screen or in the description to know more about our asset or about special discount offers.